Hey there, it's Sonia Miller, speaker, coach, and author. And this question came in from a coaching session. And the question is, how do I extract myself from a toxic work situation? So um, this is a scenario where uh, this particular person was caught up in so much intensity, so much dysfunction, um, it just felt like this vortex that she was coming up to the very edge of what she can tolerate and she knew she needed out for many different reasons, um, but didn't quite know how to do it. And part of it was while she had built herself up to the um, encouraging possibility of just walking in giving her notice, uh, had a plan, had her speech all planned out. She then got online and started looking at job opportunities and felt incredibly discouraged. And she found herself continuing to go back into conversations about all of the reasons this toxic situation was toxic. The people, the promises, the dysfunction, on and on and on. So I thought this was a really great question because I wanted to address um, what I call the three essential ingredients for permanent and lasting transformation. Because even if we know the answer, which is, well, just quit or just find another job, you know, there's always some really pat answers and we get lots of advice about, um, you know, from, from, from good meaning friends, oh, you should do this or you should do that. Everyone, there's never a, a an absence of opinions and advice. But as we know, um, in many of these situations, if you could have done it by, by now on your own, you would have. So there's something deeper going on. So these are the three essential ingredients for permanent and lasting transformation. Know-how, commitment, and support. And I like to think of it as a three-legged table that if one of them's missing, you probably aren't going to be able to move forward. I mean, you can try, but it's kind of like you need all three legs for this table to stand upright and strong and give you that platform of a new possibility. So let's talk about it. Know-how, commitment, and support. So let's say you want to make a big change in your life, okay? Let's say you have the commitment to do it, the support to do it, but the know-how, in other words, the technology or the, the how-to of it, isn't actually um, the correct know-how. You can be totally committed, you can have all the support in the, well, in the world, and your progress will be um, limited at best because you're basically using the wrong tools for the job. So you need to make sure the know-how is correct. And in my world, the know-how always begins in consciousness. Consciousness is the cause of every effect because if all of your answers were in the physical world, it would be easy. Just find another job and and leave, you know, but it's never that easy because there's a lot going on. There's deeper emotions, there's limiting beliefs, there's fears. And if you don't know how to work with your consciousness um, to both get the support emotionally to do something difficult, but also to tap into possibilities that are beyond what you can see, then that know-how is going to be limited at best, okay? Now, let's say you have the right know-how. Let's say you've found a, a body of work from a, a teacher or a mentor or a class and your friends have told you all about it and you know that this is the information, the technology, the know-how you need, okay? And let's say you're super, super, super committed. So you've got the right know-how, you're committed, but you don't have the support. If this person, whether it's leaving a toxic work situation or something else, if you move forward with the right know-how and the commitment, but you don't have the support in place, Eventually something will happen because this is just the nature of transformation. You have to go beyond what you know. You have to grow beyond the familiar. You're going to hit a bump. You're going to have a setback. You're going to reach a point where you don't know how to use the correct know-how for this situation. And you're either going to stop and not be able to move forward or you're going to revert back to what you know instead of the new know-how that's in place. So you need support to help you when you have a setback, to keep you move, moving forward. I often think of coaching and that type of support as being training wheels. So you're learning how to ride a bike. If you don't have training wheels, you could learn 
but you're going to fall down. You're going to hit a tree. You're going to have a setback. You have to get up on your own and figure it out. Okay. Whereas support like training wheels, you might wobble, but you're going to be moving forward the whole time until you develop that internal core of balance. It becomes integrated and then you can drop the the, the uh, training wheels and you can just go forward and you have your new normal. You're, you're an expanded version of yourself. Okay. So support is essential for setbacks or when you don't know how to apply the know-how correctly. Now let's say you have the um, support and you have the know-how, but you don't have the commitment. I will tell you, I have literally had people pay in full for a coaching package, excited about the know-how, excited about the support, but their own commitment was not in place and they didn't show up. That's That was pretty mind-blowing to me and I've had that happen only a handful of times because I'm really selective and I, and I interview for that, but the commitment is essential. So if you, if you don't know if you're committed, you know, if you're not really ready, then you want to let yourself be in the process of getting ready to be ready. Instead of, I know I need to leave this job and you beat yourself up, but you're also not ready to make the commitment to really do what it takes. Let it be okay that you're cultivating the commitment. Now, um, here's two things that fuel commitment, okay? As Tony Robbins says, it's either the pursuit of pleasure or the avoidance of pain. A lot of times the pursuit of pleasure isn't even enough because we know that there's a better possibility, but the, the gravitational pull of the familiar will keep us in place until it gets really, really intolerable. This is where this client was. It was intolerable and she needed help, okay? So you can let it get as bad as it needs to get. You can actually ask yourself, how bad does it need to get? Okay, but you want to be honest with yourself about your commitment, because if you're not committed, then you're you're going to fuel the discouragement within yourself. So let it be okay if you are still cultivating the commitment and you can embrace a mantra of I'm willing to be willing to be ready or I'm willing to be ready to to make this change, to take this on and and give yourself permission to be in the process of getting ready. And then that will open you up to the learning that you, you need and the, the support that's available internally and externally to finally take the steps to activate the support, to engage in the know-how and to move forward in a productive way. So this particular client, we had a very um, candid conversation. I said, you know, if you really wanna do this, then set yourself up for success because if you're not committed, if you don't have the support, if you're not approaching this correctly, you're going to take a step forward, but then go three steps back and it'll be like spinning your wheels and it's just going to be more and more aggravating. So she was honest with herself. She knew it was bad enough to take the steps. She stepped into a commitment for support and she's really engaged. And now the first step that must happen is now happening for her. This is usually the first step, which is once the know-how, the commitment and the support is in place, you must start to make space for the deeper work to cultivate the consciousness that opens you up and opens her up to new possibilities that are beyond the gravitational pull of the toxic environment. So you have to open up space for something that's going to nurture the consciousness of new and infinite possibilities. I am willing to invite possibilities that I didn't even know were here right now. I am willing, I'm willing, I'm willing. It all begins with willingness. Willingness opens the space. Know how commitment and support is the thing that supports you to move forward. And um, I'll give you some updates on things that are happening for her because uh, it's pretty powerful. I just had another client who left a really unsatisfying work situation and manifested amazing support to um, move forward, a severance package that was beyond what she could have ever imagined, four months to really get clear, and that was not even on her radar, but she did the deeper work of know-how, commitment, and support, and then a willingness to open up space for new possibilities. So I hope this is helpful. Um, if it was useful, please hit like or share. It helps me reach the people that I'm here to serve and keep sending in the questions because I'm loving this Q&A time. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.